Welcome guys to my brand new series, IRL Scape, where I intend to level as many old school RuneScape stats as I can in real life from 1 to 99. While I don't want to do too much talking in the intro so you guys can experience the video um, properly and I'm not repeating myself, I do want to just put out there that this is uh, in, its, in its early phases still, it's still a trial and error, I'm doing agility at the moment. The quality of the sound is, is better than I expected, but it will improve. So if you hear a bit of knocking or rubbing on the mic from the GoPro, I, I'm looking to eliminate that. If you can just keep that in mind and bear with me through the early stages of this process. I'm also looking to um, add some features to make it more interactive at the same time, but treat it like a podcast if you're not interested in the visual aspect. Any and all feedback is welcome in the comment section below. Leave a like if you happen to enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends, whether they like RuneScape or not. It's gonna be something new and unique to the RuneScape content creator scene that I don't believe we have ever seen before. So hopefully uh, it goes well. It is a slow start, so it's just trial and error at this point, but I, uh, I look forward to making this content and hopefully you guys enjoy it too. It's very windy out today, guys, so I do apologize if the sound is a bit rough. The noise suppression should keep the uh, the wind out of your ear, but it might suppress my voice too. But I'll do the best I can to make it sound as bearable as possible. This is my new video series where I'm training my IRL stats in RuneScape to 99. Now, some people might think, what the fuck is wrong with you? But to me, it's an excuse to get out of the house and um, go for a ride. Be active for once, because I just sit at my computer all day fucking playing games. So this is uh, hopefully a... a the first step to something that's really good and something that you guys can hopefully enjoy watching. It's uh, <laughs> it's gonna be as uncut as possible. I'm gonna be recording everywhere I ride. At the moment I'm riding uh, towards, this is a beach path near, near where I live, mostly bushland. There's a golf course right here on the left. That fence is basically the golf course near my house. And then to the right, it's just sand dunes. I don't know how well you can see that, but I'm basically just gonna ride down this footpath for, I don't know, a couple kilometers or miles for those who haven't got their shit together yet and then I'll turn around and go back. But yeah, this is the first episode, the first iteration. Hopefully the content is enjoyable and the idea is to make it so even if you don't want to watch, if you don't care about this Australian Outback, it's still some sort of, I guess, podcast concept where you can sit there and listen to me talk shit for 10, 20, 40 minutes, however long I can ride. I had to ride to the beach myself and I can tell you right now, I am so fucking unfit. My legs were dead. I had to wait like 10 minutes just to be ready and get the, the GoPro ready anyway, but fuck me. I am not a big boy. If you can see my legs and shit in the video too, I do apologize. But yeah, this is a, this is a, a side of Western Australia, mate. Not too fucking bad gates open up here. This golf course I actually used to go on uh, when I was younger. <laughs> uh, not legally, of course. Me and the boys used to go out there and fuck around and it was just cool to go on the golf course anyway but when uh then you get chased off by golf buggies and people in four wheel drives it was good fun it was something you know would have been 12 13 with the guys back there it was very popular i think everyone used to do it um <laughs> well at least a good 10 or 15 people i knew did anyway i've got a story about the sand dunes here sometime too i might tell you maybe next time next episode or something i do plan on switching up the uh, scenery as well Sorry if I'm out of breath, it's, I've, been only, I've only been riding 10 minutes, but fuck me. Um, yeah, I plan on switching up the scenery. I might go the other way on the beach path. I might do this full beach path sometime um, around the city. I want to go to Rotto as well. If you don't know what Rotto is, it's just Rottenest Island. It's this big ass island off the coast of WA. That's like, it's really beautiful. It's fucking big though. But I'd love to uh, ride that and just show you guys one day. That could take a couple of hours, but yeah. Also, I want to, I'll, I'll put this here so that way people watching no, if you are, have any questions about anything, RuneScape, don't, I don't care what, it doesn't have to be RuneScape, it can be anything, Australia, me, if you want to start a discussion, a debate, you want to give me your opinions or have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below and what I'll do is next time I ride, I'll try and memorize them or have them on my phone, I'll read them out and discuss it with you guys, I guess, and give my opinion and we can have a little bit of a meme, but yeah, make it as interactive for you guys as possible. I plan on, excuse me, doing as many skills as I can. And the idea is to do 99 episodes of each stat. This would be technically agility. I might do straight 99 videos of this, then do fishing or cooking or strength or something like that. I might switch it up, do a couple of videos of this, then do a little bit of fishing, maybe some shooting or, or archery with ranged. I don't know, I'll keep it, uh, I, I think I'm just gonna wait and see 
where it goes and what your interest is like on this video at least. Holy shit, am I, am I at the end of the golf, beach path already? That's the fucking golf course right there. I was here the other day. I keep hearing like shit in the bush to my right as well. Obviously it's like lizards and snakes and maybe kangaroos, probably rabbits or some shit. Fuck, there's tiny birds. I don't know if you can see those, but they're pretty fucking sick. But, oh, wrong way, still getting used to this bike. I've got a, um, a giant Talon 4 for those who give a shit about cycling. Um, I don't know much about it, but the lady did a job. She upsold it to me, she's like, told her, yeah, my limit's like, you know, 600 bucks. She's like, oh yeah, now take this one. It's like fucking out of my range, but all right, fuck you. So, bought it because it looked good, put a comfy seat on it because I'm not sitting on a rock that feels like a cock for fucking what 20 minutes at least a day fuck that so yeah nice bike goes pretty hard it's got like eight gears and then two or three speeds or some shit i don't know oh um, well there's the ocean now. i don't know if you guys can see that i'll try to get you guys a view of the ocean i don't know as, as much as i can F fuck it. i'm gonna go to the end of the path who gives a fuck hey eh? i might end the video at the end of the path but i'll at least show you guys the ocean around here and what uh what WA has to offer. It should be pretty good. It does look really nice out there. It looks like fucking glass, mate. She's looking good. Someone's out there on a jet ski. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. You'll find that I lose my train of thought quite a bit too. I really hope the quality of the sound of this is really good because I'm doing a lot of fucking talking. So again, if you see this video, that means it's working out and uh, hopefully the feedback is good. Be honest. If you think it's shit, if you think there's things I can change, by all means, I'm open to any and all feedback. I do plan to get a better mic. External uh, mics for the GoPro are pretty fucking expensive, so that's uh, this is something we're gonna have to deal with for now until I can get that sorted. But uh, as long as I can get this out of the way, this intro, I guess to the series and let you know what's happening. This is just a, a rough, there you go, we'll stop here actually, fuck it. Can I ride on sand with this bike? Fucking hope so. Probably not, it's probably too soft. Might have to walk, boys. All I do is I walk, but I'll show you the ocean real quick. Someone's out there on the jet ski going nuts. But yeah, I can I can record. I'm currently recording in 1080p, but I can do 2K and 4K. But I didn't want it just yet. I just want to make sure the file sizes are right and everything's good, and then I can upload and render it. And as I get my shit together, I can make improvements there. But you've got to start somewhere, you know. Fucking traded to the right, doing some fishing over there. Not bad. Try not to record people. That's the ocean there, boys. Very close to uh, the jetty over there to the left. It's a long point, I think it's called. Fuck me, so I don't know what to point out and where to, but I think, I mean, I don't know what the fuck that is over there, those islands in the distance. I don't know if you can see that, but. Um, I want to say that's Garden Island, dead ahead. I don't know, right down the middle, the big ass island. I think that's Garden Island, which is our uh, like naval base, army base, basically. They do like drops all the time in the ocean. They'll drop like tanks in the water and people parachute in to try to save them and shit, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's the entire coastline. I think I started writing, um, where from? I don't want to say too far, maybe you probably won't be able to see, but I'd say like dead ahead there, probably started riding about 10 minutes. It's actually a lot shorter than I fucking remember. I used to ride this as a kid with my family. Fuck me, it was long, so that's not too bad, but yeah. That's, uh, this is pretty much like, I don't know if I can point it out to you on a map probably, but it's kind of the kick of the ocean before it heads pretty much straight south towards the bottom of, or towards, I guess, uh, Bunbury or wherever the fuck it is at least, but it's not fucking bad. I'm going to turn around and we'll head back up the bike path. But yeah, that's part of the West Australian Ocean. The great fucking outdoors, mate. But there's more wildlife and I guess Australia that I want to show you guys. I think would be really cool because most of my audience is American. And um, I mean, I'm curious about that fucking place myself. But I think it's cool to just share because most of you guys probably think this place is just mass it's like sand and fucking sticks, which is all you can see at the moment. But as you can see, we do have houses, rendered houses, tiles, they do exist. Fucking genuine collar bond roof. What do you know, boys? We've got all sorts of fucking technology here. 
and we have you know reasonably modern bikes you probably can't see it because autism but i've got the gopro strapped to my chest i figured that was the best way to do this could strap it to a helmet but don't tell uh don't tell me mother but i'm not wearing a helmet because well they're fucking uncomfortable until i thought i had one and i didn't so subconsciously wasn't gonna wear one but i might especially if it's better for the gopro but yeah i'm using the gopro mic currently seems to do well on my chest Oz Unity on my chest. Let me check my phone real quick just to see how the camera quality is going. Yeah, she's fucking good, boys. Holy shit. Not bad. So, yeah, that was uh, essentially the long point. WA. And um, I'll be doing some more of these videos for sure. It, it, if you like them. If not, if you think it's shit, I can pull the pin right now and sit down at the computer. But this is genuinely... A good excuse for me to get outside get outdoors and somewhat be active even if it's once a week expect videos at least i think if you expect them once a fortnight i can't disappoint you but i want to try to do once a week um that's it really on the most, most i can um ask from you guys is honest constructive and positive feedback um that you think can help with the series and the channel share the video and content around with people that you think may enjoy it or just people that you just want to fucking annoy. Holy shit, something's rustling that bush there, eh? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that on the mic, but there's shit like, as I ride past, you just hear like things scatter through the bushes. I think there's mostly lizards. I don't think it's snakes. Though I have seen snakes across this path before, like a, there's a King Brown or something, or a Dugite. I don't know, I was really young, but it was laid right across the fucking black path, or red path, sorry. So it's one of those situations where you just turn the fuck around and go home, hit the showers. Uh, the idea hopefully we can uh i can come oh fuck me one deal i can come back to this uh this path consistently and i guess try to notice the difference that uh holy shit that i make or that i've made with myself in terms of fitness and legs not getting fucking tired just riding here so i think that'd be really cool to do as well i know they're improving this golf course but i think they're actually building houses around here too which is good and bad got my uh, little come back here too someone's coming up with their dog i'll keep quiet when i walk past people one so i don't look like a fucking psychopath but two i guess it's just kind of polite for them don't want them to think i'm recording them it's not nice yeah it's a cool little dog look at that boy fuck yeah that's a good doggy how you doing how cool was that dog I love border collies. Got a, I've uh, had, we grew up with one, well two technically. Grew up with one, had two, then my parents moved out and then one unfortunately passed away, but then they got another one. So technically still two border collies I see on a weekly basis. They were awesome. Some of the best fucking dogs I've ever had experiences with. I like dogs. What, why don't you guys tell me down below what your favorite dog is, favorite breed of dog and um, I'll actually give a shit. I'm not even kidding. I wanna know, half the dog breeds I can't even fucking name. I think they've got a, a Marema I think it's called. I've had to Google it six times, so I'm kinda of starting to remember. I think it's a Marema is the other dog that we've got. He's cool too, he's a big boy. But it's just like a, he's a dominant little cunt. <laughs> he's a good boy, but yeah, tell me what sort of dog you've got below and I guess how long you've had it for. That'd be cool to know. I like dogs, they're, they're honestly, I'm a dog person over a cat person. I've had cats, I don't mind them, but Dogs are just better. Always have been, always will be. Fuck yeah. This is actually not a bad part of the bush. I don't remember it being like this, I'm honest. It has been years. Probably a decade, a good decade since I've ridden down here. Nearly a decade. What am I, 26? Got my license at 17. Yeah, so probably about a 10 years. Between 8 and 10 years since I've been down here, unironically. And, uh, yeah. She's different, but she's looking good. Looking healthy. Nothing's been burnt down, no fires. Surprises me. Holes all over the fucking golf course, fuck knows why. But, yeah, I've got a story for you guys next time I'm doing this in the sand dunes here. It's a fucking banger, I'd love to tell you about it. I don't want to use all my uh, material up in one episode, otherwise <laughs> it's gonna be a very short series. So, I'm coming to the end of the path now, probably got two minutes of riding left. I'm gonna say that this is the end here. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed it, drop a like. 
subscribe, share the video. I live stream here five days a week, all that fucking bullshit. Join the Discord in the description. And if you like the content, let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback. If there's any changes I can make, please do. I'll do different scenes or different, I guess, uh, environments and stuff. And I'll try to keep the content fresh. So I appreciate it. Fuck off. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, god damn. Fuck, mate, look at that boy. It's huge. You got a big boy.